From tight, stiff, and aging to human flags, muscle-ups, and handstands, Darren, 52 years old, former pro b-baller, and retired teacher turns into a strength ninja. You'll learn every cheat code he used, plus sets and reps. But it didn't happen by might. It didn't happen through power. It happened in ways you wouldn't expect. I mean, pack rim has just done a, a lot for my confidence even. It's not that I didn't have confidence. I already had confidence in you know, who I am and what I've accomplished maybe in the past, but just giving me a new goal and the same way for any online client or someone that's interested in it to get you somewhere where you've never been. To some, Retelling stories of their glory years over a beer after a nine to five at a stable job plus benefits is the victory, the goal to which to aspire. To others, it's the primary reason for change and transformation. Often, people are happy to visit the same bars in the same town and tell the same stories about their glory days over the same sloshing beers year after year living in the past while not fully thriving in the present. Darren was not content with this, so he began a quest to overcome the mundane and the mediocre and to become a better, stronger version of himself day after day. If you practice these principles and do the training with your mind, body, and spirit, you'll have no option but to succeed while building a stronger version of yourself. Many who attempt to gain the strength fail because they lack an important element. Darren is making it a quest to acquire it. This element is what unlocks the strength you really want, from handstands to human flags to muscle-ups and everything in between. The one element missing from most people's training and even daily life is flexibility. Darren was a professional basketball player who traveled the world and played in a variety of countries. And as a teacher, he also built a basketball program in the United States from the ground up. But Darren realized that to become better, healthier, stronger for life, and longevity into older age, and even have the ability to grow his strength to the point of human flags, muscle-ups, and handstands, it was essential to build flexibility, mobility, and resilience far beyond what he formerly possessed. Perhaps you were in the same boat. Bridging was huge, so was lotus work, splits training, and a variety of individualized flexibility training. Look at how much more flexible he is now. So much more, Darren. Holy cow, squeeze your quads. 10 second, 30 second, and even 60 second timed holds Plus, and most importantly, a positive mindset. Even in learning the muscle up, a basic upper body strength element, he realized how much shoulder flexibility is required. Never mistaking videos for actual training, but taking part in community and coaching to go to levels he didn't realize. Flexibility is more than just physical, it's also mental stepping outside your comfort zone, which has become a cliche, but in actuality is very difficult. A powerful example is stepping away from people who you finally admit are toxic and negative and going into a new community or into a new career or into a new way of life. It's what moves a person beyond retelling the same glory stories of old and living new ones in the present. Another example, he said he has what could be called Kata resistance. In power batics, we have katas or short routines for each level that build cardio, flexibility, strength, mobility, movement, and skill simultaneously. There would take a person from below average or just average to above average and beyond. But like with anything worth doing, they're difficult and outside most people's comfort zone. Yet realizing the resistance and seeing the progress in others, Darren made the move to training them and seeing improvements in coordination, strength, and overall movement. Many who attempt to gain strength also fail because of another blind spot. Often, people will acquire some new strength, maybe their first pull-up, maybe their first Kong vault, maybe their first frog stand or bridge. And now they continue practicing that over and over again because they simply expanded that comfort zone. What we often see are guys who achieve muscle-ups and then their rings or bars like a magnet a siren song constantly beckoning them back. Venny is notorious for doing max out muscle ups every training session. Despite me saying, now go do just as many bridge push ups, Darren would do exactly the same thing. Like his hands were magnetized to the rings, they would always somehow find him. And then hands start turning over into a false grip and pretty soon the shoulders are taking another muscle up. We got to a muscle up by training towards it. That's the secret. But now that it's acquired, we must do the bare minimum to maintain it 
and this applies to any other strength or skill for that matter, and then refocus on two secrets that are even more important. The first is continuing to build the weak links. When Darren was at a two-week stay in Alaska and training with Darius, one of our video editors, he found that bridging actually felt far better than doing the strength work for handstands. So whereas redundantly overperforming the same comfort zone strength and skill could be disadvantageous, rebuilding weak links often feels good. The second is continuing to make progress. Maybe you're at the level of just a pull-up, or maybe you've got a muscle-up. Whatever your level, Think about those moves as not just exercises you do for sets and reps, but like walking through a door into a new room. For example, a pull-up can then transition to a wiper or a side straddle like in level 2 car. Likewise, a muscle-up can allow you to start building handstands above the bar like Ethan, always progressing to new levels while continuing to work on weak links. Every day is a new opportunity for a journey. Darren is decades deep into personal development, sports, and athletics. But each new day is another opportunity for brand new, fresh growth in those very areas. It's like a plant finding water and breaking its roots through a concrete barrier to access it. Age, tightness, stiffness, past injuries, and roadblocks need not be permanent barriers in this life. They can be an impetus for future growth just like Darren. Yet there's always more or different things to consider. Maybe in your journey it's joint injuries, mental roadblocks, age, or more advanced strength and skills goals and there are other videos for those topics in detail. If you want to become a strength and skills ninja, then add these principles to your mindset and training. Instead of staying in the past, training like this is all there is, and becoming stagnant, add these secrets to your training. If you do, I promise you, you're going to see massive acceleration in your strength, skill, and mindset no matter what your past obstacles or future goals. See you in the next video and in training soon.